Missing woman on the radar right now. Help us find Mitchell, US resident gone missing in Jamaica. Now according to the news report, within a couple of days she arrived, she went missing. Family members telling Jamaica and the world she did not take her medication before she leave the United States. You understand? She have a little mental problem. No, the family members worried sick. One if she out there walk up and down or somebody take her away. But at the end of the day when you look at it, them know she have some problems. Yet, when you send the lady on her own to jam down. You understand? No supervision. Come on, man. No, the lady not so hundred, man. Somebody go with her. Or, when you just calm her down and make sure you see how you are going. We don't have the time now, but we promise. In our Christmas, we are going to take a trip. You understand? When you send the lady now, by herself, and now she missing. When you see them things, people, when you talk to me down below in the comment section, she was last seen in the vicinity of Kent's wildflower in Portmore, according to the relatives. Her relatives report that she suffers from mental health issues and is at serious risk. She did not take her medication. A missing person report was filed within the Greater Portmore Police, the family said. Anyone knowing the whereabouts of Mitchell Simpson is being asked to contact her dad, Winston Simpson, at 876-489-1330. The Kansas Spring Police at 876-949-1330. 8422 police number 119. So, people, when you share the video, look at her. She knows so hungry, they understand. So, I'm gonna take care of her. Right, so now we walk on all the way in St. James. Two killed, several injured, drastic gun attack, serious saran pain, blood splash all over the place. Here we are going to know full details. Two men are dead while four others including a nine-month-old baby are nursing gunshot wounds following a deadly attack by gunmen in Norwood St. James on Wednesday night. Dead are 31-year-old Delano Christie, a shopkeeper who operated an establishment in the area and 26-year-old Jardin Brown, according to the Constabulary Corporate Communication Unit. Both men were part of a group of people playing dominoes at a shop operated by Christie at approximately 8.15 p.m. when gunmen approached them and opened fire. All six people were taken to the hospital where Brown and Christie were pronounced dead. The others, including the infant, were admitted for treatment. Police say they have not yet established a motive for the killing and investigation into the incident is ongoing.